the reason why I am now on the keto diet goes back a long ways um, to share some of my testimony. I have schizoaffective disorder and it has been under control with medication for four years, different kinds over the years. Um, and I was in and out of hospitals from 22 to 27. And I, some of my symptoms were hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, anxiety, depression. And all of that, um, I was controlling it with um, medication off and on through that time. And then um, since 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, four years, I have been consistently on medication. And the um, kinds of medications had a lot of side effects um, like tiredness, like weight gain and um, prolactin levels going up to where I was producing milk, which is weird. Um, and so I got off of the one that was making my prolactin levels go up after three years of being on injectable um, medication, going to the doctors and getting injected. Um, um, now, um, I tried some different types of SSRIs, um, depression, for depression, and those never really worked, and then just need, like, brain fog and stuff like that, um, and then got off those, and then now I'm on a low dose of one type of medication that is, um, controlling or, like, containing the, um, um, like uh, it's an antipsychotic, so it controls the hallucinations, delusions, paranoia. Um, but I still have breakthrough symptoms of depression and anxiety, social anxiety. Um, so that is um, still being worked out in my brain, and um, so I've followed this girl on a channel for YouTube called living well with schizophrenia and she has the same diagnosis as me her name is lauren and she has a partner named rob who films her and like um they have the youtube channel together but it's mostly her and um so i've been following her her journey like telling her whole story like way more details than i could ever say about my illness um, and more, like, textbook stuff to be able to fully explain it. Um, so I've been watching her, and she's recently gone on the keto diet, where you are <coughs> basically, um, cutting out all kinds of carbs. Um, I believe her regimen is only 20 grams of carbs a day, um, anything with sugar or bread or cake or um, rice, like, all of the things that convert to sugar, um, cutting it out. And the reason is because, um, and also only eating protein and fats and different things like that. And she has a keto coach, so she is really strict on what she eats. Like, she does a good job of, um, on her diet. And so... Um, she's been on that for a couple of weeks and what it does is it produces ketones when you're only eating fats and proteins and what it does is um, fuels your brain with more powerful kinds of energy than what a carb or sugar can do for your brain and so the idea is and if this is like in the works, like kind of like a baby, like baby research, not like full blown, like scientific, like proven and all this. It's more like 
they're trying to really see if um if this could help with mental health and when i was um what new year's of last year i went on the lion diet where you literally eat <laughs> like this lion <laughs> you literally eat um just beef and root vegetables and greens and even um the creator of the lion diet uh what's her name what is her name something peterson what is his name something peterson jordan jordan peterson's daughter michaela is that it michaela peterson she created the lion's diet and she had a lot of different things go on with her health like her arthritis her brain her everything like she was basically dying because um her body was like attacking her herself and she got into the lion diet and like she did a whole bunch of experience experiments of what may or may not help it with food and what she found was just like eating beef like steaks and anything meat related jerky everything like that just beef is helpful to her so she's been healthy without any arthritis or mental illness for years because she had just um discovered to have the line to be on what she calls the lion diet um but i'm not gonna go that far into it i'm just gonna back to lauren she's doing the experiment with the ketogenic diet and she calls it medical keto where it's um advised by doctors and they closely monitor her and um she monitors herself with um keto monitors and getting all the ketones to the brain to help it function better and hopefully repair it um and so she is going to be doing that for the next few months and um she has already gone off of some of her medications and um since i'm on just one medication and i am um i'm doing the ketogenic diet but there's a lot that i can improve improve upon <laughs> so i am still taking my medication obviously that's the best thing to do especially since the medicine is having less side effects than ones that i've had on had before so that is um something i'm doing and i just wanted to share that that i am on the ketogenic diet and why i am on the ketogenic diet um so i um have been my diet has been very like kind of a lot less than i used to eat so um it, i don't mind sharing my weight on here so i was 210 and then i um lost some weight over the last few weeks um so i'm 204 and so i lost six pounds about two of this guy i've lost <laughs> so cute <laughs> he loves kisses and so i'm feeling better like not as um not as big so that's kind of a perk to this diet um and i've been like eating at home a lot a lot of tuna a lot of um like doubled eggs or egg bites um coffee with heavy whipping cream um a lot of meats and some fruits and some vegetables and diet soda and um i've been doing this thing where i ask siri hey siri is this keto is that keto and so i'm still in the really really early stages of like getting fully on it so i'm working on it and i am getting to be pretty pretty um less depression less anxiety 
And also, this is not part of this video, but I'm gonna show you anyways. I've been taking the Stress Mushroom Support from Sprouts. And I gotta say, like this stuff, it seems like it's working. Maybe it's just the ketogenic diet, but I'm not that strict yet, so I don't know all the effects that I'm getting. But this stuff, this stuff might be some good stuff. Just saying. And um, so that is my little update, my diary entry for the night. And I will see you in the next one.